Hi, I ran across a piece of content by Dr. Jason Fung and thought I'd discuss two points that he made therein. One that I agree with and the other that I don't. The subject he discusses is diabetes and why doctors are misguided in how they treat it. Learn your body, a science-based education. So let's first start by getting his perspective on the first point. Are doctors dealing with diabetes correctly? So in fact, over these years, despite what everybody tells you, your diabetes is just getting worse and worse and worse. So your sugars might go up, they might go down, but your diabetes is actually getting worse. And I think that's what confuses people a lot because they think that the sugar and the diabetes are the same thing, but they're actually not. But over the, that period of time, you can see that no matter what, it's actually progressing. And they say it's a progressive disease. So this is the thing that you have to understand, that the, the, the sugars and the diabetes are actually two different things. So diabetes, the real heart of diabetes is the insulin resistance, okay? So that part is what's getting worse. The sugars is really just a symptom of the insulin resistance, okay? But it's not the actual diabetes. The actual diabetes is the resistance to insulin and the subsequent very high levels of insulin. So diabetes is the same thing. The disease is about insulin resistance. But the symptom is the high blood sugar. And yet all our treatment is directed against the high blood sugar. Here he mentions a great point that the sugar and diabetes may be related, but the high blood sugar itself is not diabetes. The root cause is insulin insensitivity, otherwise stated insulin resistance. So the drugs that many people take really just mask the issue by reducing blood sugar levels. And then people are deemed control diabetes, when in reality, the drug is just a patch that may increase insulin sensitivity, but only temporarily. It's a good way to look at it. So now onto his second point. Problem, so up to about five years ago, we thought that treating the sugars would make you better, right? And this is what probably all of you have heard. Your sugars are doing fine, your sugars are doing fine. So if you, um, think that, that's, that the, the sugars is the same thing as the diabetes, then you'd think that the diabetes is doing fine. But it turns out about five years ago that they did three very large studies. And what they found was that no matter if your sugars were well controlled or poorly controlled, it actually didn't make any difference. You still got complications of diabetes, you still got the disease, you know, the, the heart disease, the strokes, you got the, you know, the eye disease, the kidney disease, all of it. So none of that was made better by controlling the sugars. Now, this is a point that I disagree with slightly. While I don't necessarily dispute his point on studies showing people can still develop these other pathologies like in the kidneys, eyes, etc., when they're medicinally managed for their diabetes, and that's actually for the same point as before, drugs only temporarily mask the issue of insulin resistance. However, the elevated blood sugar itself is not only a symptom in this situation, it becomes a pathology, a disease itself. Why? Because of a process known as glycation. Glycation is a spontaneous process wherein proteins, fats, and cells within the body are covered in sugar molecules. This leads to a reduced functionality of those key proteins and cells, and can lead to reduced blood flow as well as damage to the cells. As such, the elevated blood sugar itself is a problem, and although it's caused by insulin resistance, it is still beneficial to health to reduce the blood sugar levels. Meaning, high blood sugar is a symptom, yes, but also a pathology in its own right that is beneficial to target for that reason. Overall, I like that Dr. Fung addresses the issue because it is something that should be explained and he does a great job doing just that. However, there are certainly some added complexities like the branches from a tree of insulin resistance that are left unaccounted for in his explanation. So I thought it was a good idea to cover this in a spotlight. I hope you gained something from this and check out my other content on the topic linked for you. Talk to you then. Cheers.